Brown, obviously, uh, that's going to go down as one of the great finals in NCAA history. Just uh, what, uh, talk to me about your emotions. Uh, emotions, let's see. Blessed. Truly, I'm blessed. Um, not much to say in terms of emotions. Happy, of course. Um, blessed, that's all. What were the feelings getting on the line today? Like, how were you oh, mentally nerves. focused? <laughs> <laughs> nerves. <laughs> Why? But I think that's with everybody. You know, it's natural. Um, getting on the line, you know, me personally, how I calm my nerves is like, just take a deep breath, you know, let it in, let it out. You know, you have to do it eventually. You know, you can't run away from it. So, I just remind myself that, hey, you're nervous, yes, but you have to do it. Were you happy with your start and your transition today? Uh, I have to go watch it over. I don't know how it looks, but it felt good to me. It felt good. I mean, uh, all the elite sprinters say, like, you know, if, if, whether it's, you know, like a four-point win, whether it's mm -hmm. you know, just over the allowable, whether it's like if you run it, like, you know you can run it yeah, under, I mean, any, uh, under any conditions. To me... So I'm just saying, like, like what, does that, what does that reassurance give you, like, you know, you know go, uh, going forward that, like, you know that you can... You can be a you know, 10, 8, 10, 7 woman like consistently. The wind does one part, your body does the other. You know, I think you have to put in to run a 10, 8 with 2.2. .2. You can't just like not run and then run a 10, you know, 10, 8. So I think the wind is a factor, yes, but not much. Not much. Because you don't even feel the wind. Then you see it's like a 3.7. Right. So, yeah. How did you build toward that at the end of the season with, with uh, Coach Shaver? Like, how did you build towards sort of that peak that you needed here? Uh, how do I build towards it? I think just like going back to the drum board, see what we need to work on. Work on it, you know, um, work on frequency. Like is this where you saw yourself though? I mean, 10, 8, 9, you know, uh, is that where you saw yourself or do you think you left anything on the table? Um, I think that's, that's where I see myself, you know. Years ago, I wasn't running 10 at all, you know, I've been doing it consistently, so it's, it's a good thing. Uh, I mean, obviously, I know it's still very fresh and very immediate uh, today, but uh, do you have defined plans on the schedule for you know, the things that you already have you know, scheduled or what Jamaica's going to ask you to do this summer? No? So it's just kind of play, you know, kind of play it by play it by day, play it by week now. Okay. Are you a go with the flow person? Are you pretty chill? Very much, very much chill. Yeah. Go with the flow. Don't question stuff. Just do it. That's it. And that's helped you sort of within your career manifest. I mean, I was results. always that way. I would always question stuff, but I learned to like <laughs> just surrender. Just like, <laughs> yeah, you know, give in. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> awesome, Brianna. Great work. Congratulations. Thank you.